Avinash Adwani, CEO and founder CyberNight. Avinash, we keep hearing a lot of things coming from CyberNight. It's about organizational growth, team expansion, regional expansion, roadshows, a lot of things are happening. So what is your go-to-market strategy? Thank you. First of all, a pleasure to uh, be here and thank you for having me here. We've been around now for five and a half years. For the last five and a half years, we've been evangelizing, educating and creating awareness around our zero trust security story and our philosophy. We continue to do this today mm -hmm. and as we move forward, we want to really take zero trust security from a concept and a principle um, to really being an established methodology that organizations across the region use to secure their digital transformation, their cloud adoption, um, their uh, remote working requirements, which is fundamentally what, this, what the, the concept was built to do. So our go-to-market has always been surrounding go to, uh, zero trust security, and it continues to do that. Now, um, as, a, as a pure business model, we are a 100% cyber, cybersecurity focused, value-added distribution company. That's where we are today. Our vision when we founded the company was to go from zero to $500 million by 2030. This is the path that we are on. So we want to do this execution of revenue across the Middle East, Turkey, Africa as our primary region. And this is the journey that we've been on since the company was founded in November 2019. So, so far, yes, it's, it's uh, been pretty accelerated growth. Or as I tell people, it's been a wild ride, but we still feel like we're just getting started. Um, and we still have quite a ways to go to get to that vision by 2030. But we have our plans uh, pretty clearly laid out in front of us of how to get there. So it's all about execution now, um, which includes, of course, the geographical expansion part of it, the portfolio evolution, having the right caliber of team members across the region, of course, having the most optimized process to be able to scale the business effectively um, and profitably uh, as we move forward. CyberNight already has a very strong uh, footprint in the Middle East region. So which regions you are focusing on for geographical growth? So if you look at it, let's take, let's take a step back. If you look at the vendors that are in our portfolio, right? We have today approximately 35 vendors in the main portfolio, another 10 vendors in the incubation portfolio. Collectively, if you look at the way that these vendors are managed for the region, those individuals who are managing the regional uh, coverage are generally covering the Middle East, Turkey, Africa. Generally, some people have different permutations and combinations with Southern Europe and Central Asia and subcontinent, etc., etc. But in general, it's Middle East, Turkey, Africa. Mm -hmm. So fundamentally, we wanted to build a, a practice that allows us to scale across the Middle East, Turkey, Africa. Now, we began, of course, here in the UAE. Mm -hmm. And initially, we focused on the key markets in the region, including Saudi, Qatar, Kuwait within the first year. Then we, the second year, we covered all of the Middle East. Then we expanded into North Africa. Then we expanded into uh, Sub-Saharan Africa. And today we cover 14 countries in the Middle East and Africa entirely. So today we have 161 employees as of today across 14 countries in the Middle East and Africa. Uh, so if you ask me what specifically is the expansion area for 2025, it's going big with Africa. Africa is the new frontier with us. Um, and this is where a lot of the investments have been made. Uh, we have, I think, close to 40 people today in Africa alone across the continent. Um, and that will continue to grow as the business grows in Africa. We do see big potential for this market. Of course, Africa is not a small region. Many people think Africa is uh, like the Middle East, but it's far bigger geographically. Many more countries, many more cultures, many more dynamics. And so it's very important that we map the continent effectively and we roll out our strategy across the continent step by step until we get there. I mean, as we know that partnerships have been a key uh, factor uh, to CyberNight's success. So uh, could you please name a few alliances or vendors which are uh, in the pipeline to join CyberNight portfolio? So first of all, uh, partnerships are not key, they're fundamental because as a 100% cybersecurity focused value added distributor, it means that our business model is geared around the vendors in our portfolio. Equally, our customers are our reseller partners across the Middle East and Africa. So partners are very much key. Um, going back to the type of partner you're referring to, which is our vendors, right? At the moment, we're looking at some very exciting vendors that have recently come into the portfolio. Um, we've, we're always trying to keep our finger on the pulse of the latest and greatest, the best of breed vendors that are innovating in the industry. So we've been focusing over the last couple of months on two kind of key domains, the AI domain and the OT domain. 
Now, neither of them are new topics because they've been buzzing for a while. But fundamentally, we're trying to build an AI practice. And um, we've got some exciting new vendors on in the portfolio recently, like Paladin AI that uses AI for law enforcement, forensics investigations, and for banking fraud investigations, very specific to an AI LLM kind of agentic AI use case. We also have Shinobi Security, which is a AI offensive, the world's first AI offensive security platform that has passed a human penetration testing exam. So no other AI has ever done that before. That's on the AI side. On the OT side, again, not new, but very up and coming topics. We have really gone from just having a couple of OT vendors in the portfolio to building an entire OT stack. So today we have on the channel side, we have a lot of exciting MOUs that we'll be announcing at Jitex. So stay tuned and come visit us on the stand to learn more about them. Avinash, we have talked about the company's growth, expansion, partnerships. Tell us how Cybernite's team is evolving and what are the regions where you're planning to add more talent to your team? So when we look at adding people to the team, we've got to consider a lot of different factors. There are various different considerations. We've grown pretty quickly over the last five and a half years, right? We began the company in November 2019, and today in 2025, we are 161 people across 14 countries. Impressive. But we began actually with just, ah, just two of us. Right, Vivek and I in, uh, in uh, late 2019, and then there's been explosive growth since then. Now, as we look at deploying headcount into regions, right, there are three key considerations that need to be thought about. One is, do we have the right coverage across these different markets that we want to cover, which means geographical coverage. Two is, those markets that have growth opportunities, do we have sizable enough teams to cover that growth opportunity in country? And third, fundamentally, is we have our go-to-market strategy covering the right customers, covering the right partners, doing the right marketing, doing the right technical you know, capabilities on the ground, and then managing the vendors accordingly. Each of those map to different structural dynamics, both in terms of front office touching the customer, as well as back office to support those organizations. So all three need to be considered as we're making those decisions. And fundamentally, that's what we think about each year as we do our budgeting, to look at where we need to deploy a new headcount, if we need. Very interesting. Mr. Vivek Gupta, CEO and co-founder Cybernet is here with us. So I think I should ask this question from you. AI and um, uh, zero trust is gaining ground right now. What are the uh, recent trends in cybersecurity that st stand out currently? Honestly, at this point in time, with the advanced threats and the attacks, with so much of AI, the agentic AI that is being talked about right now, all the CISOs and the cybersecurity teams of large enterprises, organization, government want to focus on this line to safeguard their attack surface. So we, at the forefront of technology advisors to these large enterprises, government customers, are standing by their side to support them in their own attack surface. That's what we're basically supporting the teams with. So Vivek, with Jitex Global 2025 just around the corner and Cyber Night has a visible presence at the event, uh, tell me what are your key focus areas at the event and what uh, the visitors are going to experience at your stand. Thank you. So at Jitex, we are projecting 12 of our technologies. Those vendors are going to be present with us. We have the theme smarter, stronger, faster. So we are really bringing those vendors to be with us to help the end customers, help our partners to visualize what the advanced threats would be and we have to be smarter and stronger to overcome them. So there will be a lot of good tech being explained to our end customers and our partners during those events. So just after Jitex, there is a roadshow scheduled um, by end of month, month of October, and Cybernight has been very active in organizing these roadshows. Tell me, what is the uh, strategy behind organizing it, and uh, how are you planning to strengthen your relationship with your partners and clients with these kind of roadshows? See, roadshows are very important to us. We do this annually. The most important aspect of the roadshow is that we get closer to the customer in country. All other events that happen, we bring people from their countries into a centralized place. But in this case, we go to the end customer. So what we do is that we take our selected technologies with us and during those roadshows, we exhibit those technologies. We get the customers to talk to those technologies or vendors and we create that ecosystem for them so that they are very much onboarded with the advanced technologies and advanced innovations that they are not in sync at that point in time, but they are able to 
implement those in their own environments in those countries. So over the years, we have seen that Cairo ICT has become one of the top leading events in North Africa region and CyberNight is going to participate in the event. How important it is for you and how important is Egypt in CyberNight's overall regional strategy? Egypt is a very important market for us. Egypt, again, from a North Africa business perspective, is very strategic. Now, what we do is that we take our zero trust framework story into Egypt work very closely with the enterprise and government customers there. We evangelize the technologies and what we are going to present there is certainly going to be onboarded with the customers who need cybersecurity in Egypt. And Egypt, as I said earlier, is a very important market for us in the Middle East and Africa region with North Africa having the lion's share of Egypt. With the pipeline of events, uh, JITEX Global, then Roadshow, then Cairo ICT, uh, Cyber Night is also participating in Black Hat happening in uh, Saudi. How important is Black Hat as a cybersecurity distributor? How important is the participation over there? Saudi is the biggest market for us for the whole region that we cover. And Saudi, again, with the cybersecurity adoption and again the zero trust framework under which we work is very, very important for Saudi Arabia. The CISOs there are very, very passionate about onboarding technologies and Cyber Knight's portfolio vendors are at the forefront of delivering those technologies. Mm -hmm. So Black Hat is very important for us and Saudi as a market is equally important for us to focus on. 